Hey there, my name is Helper Wesley, and today I'll be showing an advanced way to save and load your game. In the last video, Max explained different kinds of variables. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use that to save all of your variables at once and then load them back into the game with three simple actions. So to begin with, I'm going to show you what we're saving. If I go to global variables, you'll see that I have a structure set up here already with the parent variable here on top and the children variables below. To create a structured variable like this, just click add new variable and click on the wrench icon to the right. And then from the drop down menu, select structured variable. From there you have a parent variable and you can add children by clicking on this button here. But we don't need that for now, so we'll get rid of it. I already have the event set up for this example. So if we go into the event sheet, you'll see that I have it broken up into save, load, and reset. The save, or write action, is all that's required for saving this. If we open this up, you'll see that it's actually write a text, not write a value. And for this action, we need to make up a storage name that makes sense, and then a group name that makes sense. And this will determine where external to the game this text will be saved. And then to grab the entire structure instead of a single variable, you just type in the variable type that you need, in our case, global variables, and you'll see it there in the autocomplete. Click on that, and then type in the parent variable that you want to use in our case, score. And when we select that, the expression is then complete. And that's all we need to do for saving. Loading, or reading, requires two actions. The first one being read a text, which will grab the text from the external file that we saved it in earlier. Make sure that we give it the same storage name and group name so it knows where to grab the file from. And then because things are read back into the engine into scene variables, we've made a temporary scene variable that I just called temporary variable. So when this action reads or loads in the text, it will be put into the temporary variable first as a string. And the string will look like this. And then we need to use the next action to break that text apart and put it into the proper variable slots convert JSON to a global variable. And you can do this for object variables and scene variables as well, but we're just doing global ones. The JSON string that we use is the temporary scene variable that we filled in in the last action. And if you don't know how to type it in, you can click this button to the right to search for that. And then finally, we want to select the parent variable to tell it where to put this newly broken up text. The reset is just deleting the external storage, setting all the scores to zero, and resetting the temporary value. Now let me show you the example. If I press these buttons here to the left, the score will go up. And then if I press save, we'll be saving that structure, which is the parent variable and all of its children, into an external file. And now if I change the scores to be something else, and press load, First, it will read that external file and put it into the temporary scene variable as a place to hold it. Then, it will parse, or break apart, that string of text and put it inside the global variable that we had selected, which in this case is scores. You can see down below what the text string looks like. If I change the scores again, press save and then load, you'll see it changing. So to go over it one more time, you've got write, or save the global variable structure that we want into a JSON string, and then read that JSON string into a temporary scene variable to hold onto it, and then finally parse or convert if you're searching an engine the JSON string from that temporary scene variable into its parent variable so it gets sorted into the children variable slots that it's supposed to go into. Doing it this way means that you can literally make one parent variable and have all of your game's global variables, or scene variables, or whatever, children of that one parent. So you can have the most complicated variable system ever, and as long as all of them are children of the one top parent variable, you can save and load everything in 
just like I did in this video. As always, be sure to comment down below with any kind of tutorials that you would like to see next. I have been Helper Wesley, and I'm glad I could help.